What up guys, this is Josh, Holy Souls. You know why you're here for another review. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So it's silver Nike box, Air Force One High, 2007, LV8, size 11. And inside this box, you've probably seen from the thumbnail, but I'm gonna show you right here. Got the Air Force One Flax, man. Air Force One High. And great, 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 great colorway for the fall. Nice for, uh, you know, just a neutral color, man. It goes with everything. It's dope. But let's get into the specs of the shoe. On the heel, you know, Air Force One's always come with them stars, man. Always got them stars on the heel and the toe. Walking on stars, man. Got the gum bottom. Gum bottoms always set any shoe off, man. Woo! Gum bottoms fire. That's a dope, dope, dope concept for this shoe, man. I'm glad they put a gum bottom on here and not something that looks a little uh, janky. Um, this new buck, it's uh, tan colored, you know, wheat colored. Uh, it's okay, material wise. It's, it's not the best, but Nike gets away with it because of the, the whole color of the shoe. Um, it's all right, man, in my opinion. I wish it would have did a better uh, suede or new buck or something, but it it's all right. No biggie. Shoe strings, man. Tan shoe strings like a, like a wheat Timberland. Not bad. You got your strap right here, you know, Rasheed Wallace style. Um, I used to love watching Rasheed with the Pistons, Rockets Forces with the strap on the back, you know. And here's some more details right here. I think this is cool. This is like a pine green. And then you got the same color in the back. Nice little details, man. You know, it's a good shoe, man. Shout out to Jamie Joseph. I bought these off of him from Kixify. And they actually dropped <laughs> on the sneakers app by Nike the same day I got them. So I appreciate them. I should have just waited. But it's all good. At least I got them. But it's a nice shoe, man. If you guys can afford to get them, get them. Because um, it's just like a modern Timberland. And the Air Force One is a legendary shoe. I know in the past, you know, or recent years, they have not been what they used to be, in my opinion. But I remember going to school and everyone on the first day rocking all white Air Force Ones. And Air, Air, um, all white Air Force Ones would sell out and... You have people like Rasheed Wallace playing in them and, you know, everyone from New York, you know, the whole dip set and all them, they always had, you know, Air Force Ones, the Burberry Air Force Ones and all these, these flavors that were just dropping and they had the countries and, you know, DJ Clark Kent and uh, Nelly, can't forget Nelly made a song about Air Force Ones that was actually pretty dope, dope song. So, um, it's a legendary shoe, man. This is a staple shoe in the culture of sneakers, and it's a staple shoe. And, um, you know, just in, in hip-hop, and, you know, a lot of people have bitten off this shoe. I remember uh, going to Walmart and seeing the, the off-brands make a replica of this shoe without the check. So, Air Force Ones is a, it's a legendary shoe, man. Been around since 82, and uh, that's why. I've, he, oh, one more thing. I've, I got a homeboy... He uh he got married in Air Force Ones, and you know the whole the whole wedding party had on Air Force Ones, man, including myself, cause I was in that that wedding. So, um, yeah, it's just a dope sneaker. But let's get to the on feet review. I'll start rambling. You know, this is a good nostalgic shoe for me, so I, I can go on on and on and on and on. But thanks for tuning in. Let's see what these shoes look like on my feet, and uh, be on the lookout for more content.